Happy Father's Day, Castorians. We have a terrific recipe for you today. We'll be making barbecue pulled pork in the air fryer. Subscribe to become a part of the Castoria community and hit the bell icon so you never miss another episode. Let's get started. Great, so we're actually gonna start off at the stove today, but before we switch over, you just wanna make sure that the two and a half pounds of pork butt, which is pork shoulder, is cut into equal chunks, and then we're gonna come back here once the barbecue sauce has been made. We're gonna start off by using a medium-sized stock pot or saucepan, um, and then adjust your heat to medium. Then we're gonna add in half a cup of water. one and three-fourths cups of ketchup. Again, I like using a spatula because you can scrape everything in. Then you're gonna take a fourth cup of honey plus one tablespoon, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. This is going to be two teaspoons of paprika and a fourth teaspoon of cayenne, a fourth cup of brown sugar. So now we're gonna mix everything together. Just wanna mix it so everything comes together. And once everything comes together, you're gonna to add in two bay leaves, and we're going to let this come to a, a boil, then mix it and let it simmer for about three minutes before we turn off the heat. This is going to yield about three cups of barbecue sauce. We're actually gonna be cooking with this homemade barbecue sauce in the air fryer directly, as well as serving it on the side later with the sliders. Perfect, so after you're done making the barbecue sauce, you're just going to want to transfer it to a heat proof bowl or measuring cup. Scrape all that deliciousness out. It's pretty hot, so be careful. Then you're going to want to reserve um, half a cup of barbecue sauce, which I did, because we're going to be adding that to the pork. Perfect. Just set that off to the side now. For those of you who are too busy to make homemade barbecue sauce, don't worry about it. You can definitely go with store-bought. There's nothing wrong with store-bought barbecue sauce. Okay, moving on. We're gonna take that two and a half pounds of pork butt that you've cut into e equal sized chunks. I'm just gonna get some gloves on. And now, we're gonna season the two and a half pounds of pork butt with a tablespoon of kosher salt. I just like to sprinkle it so it like looks like, you know, really nice and just dump it in there. And then you have two teaspoons of black pepper. And then you're gonna add in half a cup of water. Grab that handy spatula and add in half a cup of barbecue sauce. This is going to be like a quick marinade. Not really a marinade, it's more like the sauce that you'll be cooking or braising or, you know, yeah, braising the pork in. So we're just gonna mix all of that together now. We're using the dual blades today, so I'm going to just take the basket, remove the crisper plate, and we're just going to get all this inside the basket. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Kasori dual blades, it's my favorite air fryer because you can mimic a lot of traditional stovetop cooking methods in the air fryer itself, making your life a whole lot easier. So typically pulled pork takes almost an hour and a half to two hours on the stovetop and then finish in the oven. But now with the dual blade, since we have two heating elements on the top and the bottom, all you gotta do is put your, put your meat down in here like so and then stick it into the air fryer. So we're gonna put this into the air fryer, you're gonna to wanna to cook at it under the roast setting at 345 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Perfect, the pork has just come out of the air fryer. Be careful, it's really hot. We're just going to transfer all the pieces of pork into a heat proof bowl. So it makes it really easy for pulling. 
Great. You're gonna want to let this cool for about five minutes or so. I've already gone ahead and done that. So we're just gonna go straight into the pulling process. You can take two forks or you can get some gloves and shred with your hands. And well, here we go. Perfect. Now that everything is shredded, uh, it smells so good. I just want to eat it. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to get everything plated and looking super cool for dad. And then we'll get right into tasting. Now we finally get to taste this amazing pulled pork. Let's dig in. Mmm. So good. It's like super tangy, super tender, not dry, very juicy, smoky, delicious, everything you want in barbecue pork. And a great way to serve this was just to lay everything out on the table, make everyone do it family style, but for them to make their own sliders. Great sides to go along with it would be grilled corn on the cob and coleslaw. Please let us know in the comments below what your favorite way to celebrate dad is, and we hope you have a great Father's Day. Bye, see you in the next one.